Excuse me. I've got a message for the Inquisition, but I'm having a hard time getting anyone to talk to me. What's the message? We've got word of some Divinta mercenaries gathering out on the Storm Coast. My company commander, Iron Bull, offers the information free of charge. If you'd like to see what the Bull's charges can do for the Inquisition, meet us there and watch us work. What can your Bull's charges offer the Inquisition? We're loyal, we're tough, and we don't break contracts. Ask around, Val Royo. We've got references. What should I know about your commander? Iron Bull? He's one of those Canari, the big guys with the horns. He leads from the front, he pays well, and he's a lot smarter than the last bastard I work for. Best of all, he's professional. We accept contracts with whoever makes the first real offer. You're the first time he's gone out of his way to pick a side. Why did your commander send us this information? Iron Bull wants to work for the Inquisition. He thinks you're doing good work. I look forward to meeting this Iron Bull. We're the best you'll find. Come to the Storm Coast and you can see us in action. I heard the Templars have withdrawn. Seems odd. Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood? To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak for Andraste, no? What does the Maker's prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? How is this a game? Do you see the sky? What about the temple ruins? The bones lying in the dust? Even if you didn't support the Divine's peace, you wouldn't call this right. Who could? So many innocent lives. The faithful murdered where the holiest of holies once stood. If the Maker willed this, what is it if not a game or a cruel joke? Don't ask me. I'm as baffled as you are. Then we can only guess at what he wants. The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandoned us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. Oh, uh, maybe you should be angry at the people who murdered her. If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me. Working with the Divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. Maybe you have another purpose. I could help you find it. No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come, to work then. We will speak later. So it's true. Butler has stand on us. I hope my hunch was wrong. You knew him well? Not as well as I thought. Show me the report. There were so many questions surrounding Faria's death. Did he think we wouldn't notice? He's killed Faria, one of my best agents, and knows where the others are. You know what must be done. Make it clean. Painless if you can. We were friends once. It will be done. I'm sorry you had to see that. Trust me. Everything I do is to protect our interests. Now if you're happy, I have more work to do. Reports of fey drifts and demons keep coming. The people are terrified and it's only getting worse. The only thing that will calm their fears now is the hope that someone out there can save them. You have to be that someone. No one else has any power over the rifts. Seal them. Your legend will spread and Thedas will learn to trust the Inquisition. Why do you want me to seek out the rebel mages? Why do you care? I've known mages. Some of them were better people than me. 
And yet I'm free and they're not. It's not right. They called you the left hand of the Divine. That they did. What of it? What is the point of an Inquisition? Justinia would have started the Inquisition if the Divine Conclave failed to restore peace. She hoped that with enough support, we could challenge the very tenets of the Chantry. She wanted the Chantry to treat the mages fairly. But sometimes I wonder, why stop at mages? The Chantry has committed many injustices. If we're going to change it, why not change the whole thing? <sighs> it's just a thought. None of this will be possible if we fail. I'll try not to break anything. That's good to hear. I could use the left hand of the Divine at my side out there. Every agent out in the world is my eyes, my ears, my blade. Wherever my people are, I am also. Coming with you, leaving my post, would blind and bound me. Do you see? What exactly does the left hand of the Divine do? A Divine always has enemies. And Justinia had more than most. I protected her. I watched, had an ear to every door. I identified threats, and I dealt with them. Why did Justinia have so many enemies? There were many who felt she was unfit to be divine. She had a past, a worldly life. Unlike many, she wasn't given to the Chantry as a child. She chose it, and somehow that made her unworthy. And because they thought she was unworthy, they wished her harm. You still haven't told me what you did exactly. I handled difficult situations that couldn't be resolved through more delicate means. I'd like to hear about Justinia. What was she like? A friend. A mentor. Like me, she had secrets. Made mistakes. It made her human. I think her followers responded to that. Was there something more than friendship between you? You're asking if we were lovers? Typical. I was devoted to her, therefore it must be romantic. Love is common. Love is simple. My bond with Justinia was something greater. She was a sister, a mother, a teacher. So to answer your question, yes, it was more than friendship. How did you and Justinia meet? I met her a long time ago, before she became divine. Before she was Justinia. When I met her, she was Mother Dorothea. I was at my lowest. Broken. Lost. And she saved me. No, no, wait. <laughs> she hates it when I say that. I saved myself. She just showed me it was possible. We'll talk more later. Yes? Let's talk about you. Me? Bards tell tales. I bet you tell some good ones. There are plenty of tales in the library. Perhaps you should look for them there. What did you do before you worked for the Divine? I was a bard, an Orlesian spy, for many years. For a time, I also served a small cloister in Lothering. After the Blight, the Divine called on me to oversee her personal network. Can you teach me to be a bard? Being a bard is so much more than being a spy. It involves a keen understanding of politics, the ebb and flow of influence, the great game. The bards is an intricate dance where a smile can be sharper than any dagger. The best way to learn is to immerse yourself in it. Perhaps when this is all over, I'll teach you. I should leave you to your work. We can always talk later. Yes? You seem to know a great many people. I have made friends, and on occasion enemies. It's unavoidable. You seem to know Josephine quite well. I met her a long time ago, but we didn't become good friends until years later. After the Blight, in fact. I'd just returned to Val Rayou, and she welcomed me back by throwing a diplomatic ball. She was the Antivan ambassador at the time, you see. The ball was... all right. Too many politicians. At midnight, Josie and I left to find a real party. We've been friends ever since. What do you consider a real party? 
It's not a real party until someone's small clothes are pinned to a chantry board. And that's all I'm saying about it. You have a history with the warden who ended the blight, don't you? I count her among my closest friends. She's probably the only person I trust completely. I haven't heard from her in some time. She just disappeared. I try not to think about what might have happened. They say you spent some time in Lothering. Did you know the champion? We spoke a few times. I seldom left the Chantry, and we never became more than casual acquaintances. I saw more of the Hawk twins. Bethany in particular. She would spend time in meditation at the Chantry, and she seemed to like my stories. The other one, the young man, he was a little surly. I did encounter the champion again later in Kirkwall. Those were terrible times. Was this when the Chantry was destroyed? No, that happened later. But even then, the news coming out of Kirkwall was disheartening. There were some in Val Rayo who wanted the Divine to declare an exalted march on Kirkwall. Justina sent me there to see if that could be avoided, to gather evidence to calm those agitating for war. I guess it didn't matter in the end. We can continue this conversation later. You know where I am. Yes? I'll leave you to your work. 